Yes. Look at you with makeup on. I had makeup on when you braided my hair. I wasn't looking at your face, I was looking at the back of your head. It takes the well, 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 movies. No, the books. <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with a video all about books that I think should be made into movies. So I have a total of five books that I chose for this video. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I think would make such a sick movie is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. It takes place in a world where the city is overrun by monsters that come forth due to the sins that people commit. Kate Harker is drawn back to the city by pieces of her past and August Flynn is a monster who wishes to be human and it is just such an interesting story. I just think that it would make a super cool movie based off of the plot line and the story behind it but then also Kate and August are such good characters that I just want to see them on the big screen. Also just the fact that it's not super romance based I think it would be such a cool action movie based off of the things that happen in the book. I also just like the overall like theme that violence breeds violence and I think that it could be super cool seen on the big screen and like the message behind it so. Next book that I wish would become a movie because I think it would be super badass is Keep Her Safe by K.A. Tucker. This follows a boy named Noah Marshall whose mother is the chief of police in Austin, Texas. He's keeping a big secret from her family and those around her. He leaves this giant secret with her son, Noah, and basically he needs to go deliver this big bag of cash to Gracie Richards, who is her partner's daughter. Gracie's father was a cop as well and he was killed during a police investigation. Gracie believes that he was actually murdered and so she decides to try to figure out what actually happened the night of her father's death and that's when she brings Noah along for the ride. It's just such like a page turner that I feel that if it was on the big screen it would be so cool to see. I think it would be a super cool action movie. It also has like the perfect amount of romance in it to like gear towards the romancy people but then it would also gear towards the action people based off of the mystery and suspense behind the story and what actually happened to Gracie's dad. There was like a million different layers to this story and so many possible suspects I literally had no idea who it, the criminal actually was. I had so many theories which were all not very correct but it was such a roller coaster and I just think it would be a super cool movie so again producers hit up K.A. Tucker bye the next book I have is actually becoming a TV show I know but I think that it would be a super cool movie as well so whatever I'm saying it anyways but it is Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw and this book follows three sisters who were killed by drowning a long long time ago and then every summer solstice the three sisters come back and inhabit the bodies of three girls on land and they basically lure men into the harbor and drown them and I am just here for it it is such a cool story witches are badass and I just really enjoyed it and I think that is gonna make such a cool movie slash TV show since it's on Netflix. I'm honestly so excited so I definitely had this on my list before it was announced that it was going to become a movie so I'm counting it on this list. The next book that I have is called Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. I think that this as a movie would be really cool to see and it would appeal to again the action people but then also the romance people. It follows N. Salta who's in search of her mother Lords who has gone missing so she goes to the City of Sins. When she arrives in the City of Sins she meets Levi who is the head of a street gang. He's also a con man so he agrees to help N find her mother in exchange for 10,000 volts. The 10,000 volts will help him get out of an investment that he went into with a prima donna of a very wealthy casino family. When N starts to uncover some secrets that Lords was keeping from her and Levi's enemies start to catch up with them. An invitation to the Shadow Game comes. The Shadow Game is a game that the casino families run where the players don't come out alive and I just think that as a movie this would be so 
intriguing. It has the action for, you know, the people who like the action, but it also has the romance element of it as well. So I feel like it would appeal to a wide variety of people. I also just think that the magic system in this book would be really interesting to see how they portrayed it on the big screen because I think that the idea of the talents and your last name being which talent you have is really cool. I also just want to see the characters come to life because I loved them all so much. I thought that they were all just so adorable and lovable and relatable so I just want to see them on the big screen so I can love them on the big screen as well. The next book that I have I don't think a lot of people have ever heard of but personally I am obsessed with it and I think that it would make such a freaking awesome horror movie but it is Screams You Hear by James Morris and this follows 16 year old Ruthie Stroud who lives on Hemlock Island which is a very remote island in the middle of nowhere very very far from the mainland. Her world is basically turned upside down when her mom and dad divorce and her mom starts seeing another man and then one day she washes ashore on the mainland and she is severely burned and she has this huge story about how she is the sole survivor of a very catastrophic event that happened on the island. As a detective investigating her case starts to unravel her story, things don't appear as what they once seemed and I'm just gonna leave it at that but Oh my god, the twists and turns in this book and just the events that happen are terrifying. And I just think that it would make such a sick horror movie and it would fuck with your mind so much. I thought I had the entire story figured out and then the ending just like punched me in the face and I was just sitting there like, wait, I did not expect that at all. So I definitely think that it would be such a sick movie. So again, producers, let's go. Where are you? Like contact James Morris because damn. Alright guys, so those are the five books that I personally think would make a super sick movie. I have a lot more that I could list, so if you guys are interested in learning more of the books that I personally think need to be made into movies, let me know and I'll make the video. Let me know down below some of the books that you think would make great movies, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!